Did you know there is an unreleased Mountain Dew Baja Blast flavor? For some weird reason, Baja Blast is super popular. It, I don't know why, but people act like it's the best thing in the world. People freak out when they release it in cans. It's only okay, and they have recently just released new sort of Baja flavors, like Baja Gold and stuff like that. Well, they just take one thing and add it to Baja yeah, Blast, right. which I don't understand why you just don't release these as a flavor. I guess Baja Blast is a big enough brand. Yeah, I, they just do it to capitalize on Baja Blast, which is what they did again this year. The cans are cool. We actually decided to do them for a video this year. We have Passion Fruit Punch, which will have flavors with passion fruit and I assume Baja and whatever type of punch. You can look closely. And Caribbean Splash, which, you know, Caribbean Punch and Guava will be involved in this flavor along with the Baja Classic flavor. It sounds like they're only gonna be eh. Uh, we do too many Mountain Dew videos. I don't even like Mountain Dew that much. So let's just get on into it. I'm gonna try to... No, I'm not gonna have them spill the words just so you can be cool. For <laughs> like 40 not people. Cool. It's stupid. So you're trying the Passion Fruit Punch. I'm trying the Caribbean Splash. Then it's we'll switch. Definitely purple. Oh, this is like a weird red eco. It's like a light purple. Can I smell this one? It has an interesting smell. I guess, yeah, it's red. I was just spilling some on the side so I can look at the color. Thank you. It's not like it got anywhere. It's definitely different than a lot of the flavors. I'm glad they actually seem to have tri like tried with these. So far, at least, you know, only trying one. The I guava is interesting. I think it actually fits with the... I don't think it would have made sense to do it without the Baja flavor. I think it would have been too weird. The Baja Blast mixed with this well too. I just think though, it, it makes it so excuse so it, it can kind of have more, Baja kind of, I guess to me at least, has more, uh, at times a mellow flavor. And it's like, most, Baja, most Mountain Dew flavors are just like a punch of sugar in this flavor. So it, I like the mix because I don't know if I would have just like, Regular passion fruit, just Mountain Dew. Well, so this was okay. I always think of Baja also as kind of like a, you know, tropical punch. And with that being Caribbean Splash, I can see that also, you know, not just being guava, it mixes with other things. Well, I was talking about the passion fruit. Yeah, I'm talking about mine. Now I'm going to tell you your shitty passion fruit. Let's taste more plain. This should have been Caribbean punch. And that should have been the passion fruit splash, because this well, punch, it's passion fruit punch, you know, two peas. Um, I thought it was like punch, like a fruit. I do get what you're saying, like though. a fruit drink, because this tastes this... like a punch. Yeah. Mixed with like, you know, like when certain drinks be like, this is not just regular fruit punch, it's tropical fruit punch. This tastes I... like a fruit punch mixed with baja. I get what you mean, because this does only taste like baja with a splash of. Passion fruit with it. I kind of like that one better because that one's more like differentiate. This one tastes like I took like a can of punch, like not just Hawaiian it, punch, yeah. like just like a can of punch and mixed it with Mountain Dew myself. That one at least it tastes like it's supposed to yeah, these... be made by them. Like that tastes like the I get what you um, mean. passion fruit goes into the Baja Blast. This one tastes more mixed together at the same time to me. I think though it mixes too well and it doesn't give as defined of a flavor. And it almost, that I taste more of Baja and this I taste more of it being its own drink a bit. Well, I like, no, I, I taste like the past food into the Baja. This more tastes like Baja and then at the end I get like a little bit more of a punchy taste. Okay, whatever it is at the end. This one, maybe it's just because the passion fruit, maybe it's just more of a pronounced flavor, but... See, I don't think I'm the biggest fan of either of these. No, I think they definitely taste 
tropical enough for the summer, but I think they should have just gone with the, what, what did they do last year, mango and pineapple? Yeah, those ones were okay. Um, I think those were... Cut off, just cut. I think they should have kept one of those, and then brought back, and only did one of these and put a little bit more time. I feel like they're releasing too many flavors, and at least though the Mountain Dew finally tasted, made one that didn't taste like berries, it they always started to taste the same. Of course, we gotta get another blue or purple. <laughs> yeah. Uh, overall, though, they're only okay, I think, both. Um, I think I'm gonna give... This is interesting of us trying different ones at the same time. Yeah, I think the first one I tried was the Caribbean Splash, and I am going to give it a 7. The second one I tried was the Passion Fruit Punch, and I'm gonna give it a 6. It definitely seems like they went with different ones. Like this one seems like kind of the theme of last year of add a food to it. This definitely seems more like a mix and it also has a frog on it. Look at the frog. Doesn't I also have like a fucking like yeah, the, I love the puffer fish. The puffer fish yeah. is dopey in my mind. This is me and the raven like actually hanging out, me just, you know, chilling, looking like I don't sleep, which is true. <laughs> and then like this one has some bags in it their eyes but they're freaking the fuck out for no good I'm reason. I'm high on life. Um, I don't like this one as much. It's okay. Maybe if I just had it itself I would be more fine with it. They should have just done cut the bar and just done a the kale bean splash Mountain Dew so they can accentuate the flavors better instead of focusing on combining with bar. So I'm gonna give this one a I kind of want to give it like a six, it's okay, it's not bad. You give that one a five. And I'm gonna give this one a six. Both of them are only okay. But this one I think at least accentuates the added flavor in a good way. So overall, I gave this a seven. They gave it a five. I was the first one I tried, the second one you tried. And then reverse, because I'm not gonna fucking keep repeating it. I gave that a six and you gave that a six. Yeah. So I guess it just came down to which um, way we like them mixing it better. Pretty much. I think only reason, like, this, I don't think this is the greatest flavor ever. Only reason I like it is because it really is a different flavor, than, and they actually gave a lot of effort. Um, I think you guys should try them if you want to. We don't get paid, so I don't really care either way. Like, subscribe, and do all that good shit, and have a good night. Mountain Dew Baja Blast flavor called Baja Blast Cherry Smash that was going to be released as a Taco Bell freeze and was leaked in 2020 but was never ended up being released. That sounds very good actually. They um, most likely replaced it when they and end up releasing a pina colada free, um, Baja Blast freeze instead, which oh, has also only good. been available as a freeze and not has been available regularly. There's also an alcoholic Mountain Dew freeze for you who's obsessed with Baja Blast. And it's weapon 3 too. Last year, I think was the first year they started introducing new Baja type of flavors. No, that was the year before, I think. Shut the fuck up. I'll go over logic I want to. We can try both. We can just switch. You know what I mean? Don't touch. And now time for me to have to utter a raven thinking and debating for an extra 30 seconds because they didn't come up with a score ahead of time. And now it's the second one raven tried, even though they're giving their opinion all over again. Well, I'm giving them in the order of you gave it. I'm... This well, one... I'm just saying, we are stunned. I think I might be biased for this flavor because I like the fucking colors on my can. I'm biased to hit you because I'm homophobic. Hell yeah, yeah, Buddha. Hell yeah. The way God intended. That's why we, <laughs> if I leave this in the video, that's, that's why we ain't drinking Bud Light. This is, we don't drink Bud Light here because I don't drink alcohol. Get the alcoholic Baja Blast flavors. No. <laughs>